Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with Heritage Pride Custom Firearms and uh, I'm back with another This Old House video here um, and uh, we are currently uh, we've opened up this old uh, vanity or uh, ensuite and um, uh, old closet that used to be here and in the original house they've got these awesome oak hardwood floors and if any of you have ever worked with hardwood floor before you know it can be a pain in the butt um, to maintain and things like that or to refinish and so on and so forth well the problem that we're running into here is that the ensuite didn't have a hardwood floor in it it had linoleum in it um, it was all uh, just uh, the subfloor with a piece of plywood and then the linoleum over it and now we have to go back in where we've taken these walls out and we've got to add on this hardwood which hardwood is easy to find uh, this is just a standard uh, white oak hardwood tongue and groove flooring the problem lies in uh, extending it on we can't just cut it off even and add on to it because if we do it'll leave separation in the floor and it'll squeak um, and it'll shift and we don't want that we want to tie it into the old floor to help match everything up and also to keep it nice and solid keep it from squeaking the only problem is is that in in order to line it up or to do that you've got to take out parts of the old floor so that you can put the new floor in hardwood is offset you never line two joints up your joints always have to be offset so that you don't get two joints in one place so how do you take out the sections to put the new floor in without pulling up the whole floor from one side to the other well, there's a trick I'm going to show you that allows you to pull pieces out sort of like I've done right here already um, in taking out this long piece without having to remove the whole floor or damaging sections of the good floor that we're leaving um, and then this just makes so that you can take a new piece and slide it in uh, when you go to replace it so how do we do that well the trick to that is we are actually going to mark our floor so I've got I've got one here that's still got the groove on it so I don't have to take that one out that one can stay in the next one is this short one and it runs from here to here so we're gonna have to remove this one um, in order to put a new one in so the way that we do that is where's my pencil at here The way that we do that is we're going to take and lay our square, our carpenter square, lined up with the edge of where the floor is, where the actual plank lines up to the next one. And we're just going to mark it at about, uh, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. All right, and all we're looking to do is get past the groove, all right? And then on the other side, we're going to mark it at two inches, which will get us just shy of the tongue. All right, and then we're going to flip this over and go to the other end of the plank. We're going to line it up with our with the edge of our uh, our plank there. We're going to mark it at about three eighths, and then we're going to mark it at two. And then we'll use our T-square here and just line our marks up mark our floor Now, I've got my skill saw or circular saw, different people call it different things, and I've set the depth on it to three quarters of an inch. You can adjust it with the depth on, on any saw, pretty much any circular saw. So I've adjusted it to three quarters of an inch. Now, I recommend that you don't put a great blade in here because there's a chance that you could cut through a nail or something like that in this process. So don't put your best blade on it. I've just got a uh, fast cut framing blade on here now. 
And so what we're going to do is, like I said, we've got it adjusted to three quarters of an inch. We're going to go ahead and saw both of our lines. Do a long grain cut with both on both lines. be sure that you stop just shy of the end of your plank because you don't want to cut into the to the plank that's going to stay in place. Once you make your cuts, then you can just lift up on the center and give it a little tug. Pull your plank out. Now you'll have a couple of nails. There's a possibility you'll have some nails in here that you kind of got to work around. Just get them bent over out of the way. And then you can just pull, that's your tongue, out. Then you'll have your nails from your existing floor, knock those down. Now you can lay your new plank back inside of there to extend on down to the end of the, the new floor. So guys, that is the down and dirty easy way on how to remove planks from a hardwood floor and be able to install your new floor in the process. So um, stay tuned, subscribe, like, rate, leave comments if you have any questions, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Till next time, guys, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.